日本ニュースタイムへようこそ Hello there, morons. Welcome to another J News. Today's news story is neither political or criminal. It's about nature. It's about a new record that a little fish, actually, I'm not sure how big, well, it's 15 inches, a little fish has, has made. A、uh, new fish has been, has been discovered at a new depth, and apparently, it's the deepest any fish has ever been discovered. So, we'll go through this. And of course, as always, the links to the vocabulary and the video are in the description. And what I did this time, it's only 46, 40 seconds. So I actually typed out the whole thing. I typed it out.、Um, there are subtitles, of course, you can click on the video, but they are wrong. And I knew that as soon as I clicked on them, they were wrong. A lot of them were wrong. So I typed it out、uh, as best I could. And then I had Yukari Sensei from MaggieSensei.com.、Uh, check it. Of course, that is our Japanese language blog. If you don't know it, you gotta check out. That's a great blog, magisensei.com. Let's go through the, through the video, okay? So let's,、uh, how should we do it this time? Let's go through the vocabulary first because it's, a, it's kind of a long one, okay? So, kochira, kochira no, this. Kochira, kochira is this way, but kochira no would be this thing. Kochira no,、uh, this. Eizo, this image or video, in this case, video. Eizo. And this is the hard one, right? And I actually could, I was surprised I could read it. Okay. Kaiyo Kenkyu Kai Hatsu Kiko, which is the Japan Agency for Mar- Marine Earth Science and Technology. Okay. Or otherwise known as Jams Tech, right? Nado. Cho Sa Chim. Cho Sa Chim. Now, it's tricky because Chim is the katakana way to say team, but we want to make sure you pronounce it correctly. It's Chi. Chim, Chosa Chim research team. Ga subject marker. Gogatsuni. Now, of course, I wrote it in the kanji just for fun, but you would probably see it written with a five instead of a, a, the kanji, right? But just for, just for fun, just for this、uh, channel, we'll write it in kanji. Gogatsuni in May. Gogatsu is May. Of course, Go is five, and month is May. Getsu or Gatsu, in this case, Gogatsu. Gogatsu ni Satsue shita. Satsue is photography. Satsue shita is taking a photograph, so photographed. Photographed. In this case, shooted or shooted. No. What kind of English is that? Shot.、Uh, tai Heiyo, the Pacific Ocean. Tai Heiyo. Tai Heiyo.、Uh, Mariana Kaiko. Now, this is where the. the、um, The subtitles or the jimaku of the actual video got it wrong. Kaiko is a trench. So the Mariana Trench is one of the deepest, if not the deepest trench in the world. Not sure about that. Not sure about that. Better, better look that up. But you please look it up and tell me if I'm correct. Anyway, Mariana Trench is a very deep trench. And the depth of the water is tsui shin. Tsui, tsui is mizu or water. And shin is、uh, depth. So, tsui shin, depth of water. And here again, we're using kanji when we don't really have to. We would probably write it in numbers like this, but just for fun, hasen hyaku nanaju hachi. Hasen hyaku nanaju hachi, 8178. De at no, the depth at, the depths, I guess. So, at a depth of 8178 meters, which is really deep, right? Eizo, again, we use the same、uh, word as before, image or picture or video. Des. So、uh, if, you look, if you look this up on Tangorin, des will be described as is or be. If, if you really research this word, des, it's not really、uh, technically be or is, but conversationally, or the easiest way to translate it is be or is. So just think of it as be, a, be or is, but know that from a、um, maybe linguistic point of view, it's not correct. Anyway, utsuteru, utsuteru, mean, meaning it is being shown or it's on video, right? Utsuteru no wa. So, utsuteru no wa, the thing being shown is, the thing being shown is, shin kai gyo, a deep sea fish. Shin is deep, kai is ocean, and gyo is fish. That's a short gyo. This kanji means sakana or fish or gyo in this case when, it's in a, when, it's in, when it is combined with other kanji. So, shin kai gyo, deep sea fish. Mariana snailu fish. Mariana snailfish.、Uh, to is a particle indicates quotes or names, so that's what it's called. Mirare to, mirare teimas, mirare teimas. It is seen as, thought to, be, thought to be, it's thought to be, or it's seen to be.、Mm. Now, the okisa, or the size, oki, oki is large as an adjective, oki desne, oki. 
But okisa, okisa, okisa would be the size, the noun. Okisa wa, subject marker. Jugo senchi. Ju, jugo, jugo, 15. And of course, as I said before, probably if you saw this in a Japanese article, it would probably be written with numbers. Senchi, centimeters. Hodo, about. About. When I saw this, I was thinking about uh, Game of Thrones, hodo. Hold the door, but this is completely unrelated. Uh, hodo means about. De uh, indicates location. Now this part, we are not, both Yukari and I were not sure of, but it seems to be, Kiki in this case, seems to be a, some kind of device or machine. So they put some kind of recording device, a camera down there, a deep sea camera, and they, and they, and they gathered, they got the, the, uh, the fish to come, they put some dead mackerel down there and they got the, the uh, target fish to come and uh, feed around it so they could photograph them. Atsumata. Atsumaru is to gather, so Atsumata is gathered or collected. Ebi is shrimp. No, now, also remember that when you when you are using, um, when you're writing the names of animals in Japanese, it's often katakana, even though there's there's often kanji for it. So let's look. I, I haven't checked, but I bet, let me see. This is ebi in hiragana. This is ebi in katakana. And this is ebi in kanji, yeah, which literally, mean, liter, literally means ocean old. But usually we write it in katakana. Though if you go to a sushi bar, they often will use the kanji. Okay, ebi, o, uh, particle indicating what the verb will act on. We've gone, if you watch my videos, you know that by now, I hope. Taberu, taberu, to eat, taberu. Tabemasu ka, will you eat, taberu. So they, were, they are eating ebi. So they, the gathered uh, Mar Mariana snailfish were eating the shrimp or ebi. Their form, their sugata, or their image, or their, their on camera you could see this image of them, their, their form, su sugata. Uh, also, mo. Uh, kakunin is confirmation. Sarimashita, passive tense. Passive tense, past tense. Passive past, ta, passive past tense. So, kakunin sareta. Oh, sarimashita, I'm sorry. I, I wrote the passive, the casual. Sarimashita. There we go. Confirmed. Shinkai, deep sea. Deep sea. And at. Uh, do we need a hyphen there? I don't think so. At is de. Uh, sa, again, satsue uh, photographed. A ph photography or sareta photographed. Satsue sareta fish. Gyorui, gyo is fish or sakana. In this case, uh, we pronounce it gyo. And rui is kind or breed. So gyorui is literally breed of fish, but conversationally, the fish. No apostrophe s. Yes. And then again, we have azo or image. Oh, I didn't write the uh, pronunciation there. Let's do that. Azo is image. Or video, etc. Toshite wa, toshite wa, as for. Sekai de, in, sekai is world, and sekai de in the world, in the world. Motomo, the most. Motomo, motomo. Fukai, fukai, deep. The most deep. Kiroku, new record. O, particle indicating what the verb will act on, again, and again we have the, ka, the kanji, which we don't need, we can just use the numbers. Niju, niju, oh, I'm sorry, niju roku. And we need to put the roku there. So ni is two, ju is ten, and roku is six. So put them all together, two, ten, six, or twenty-six. Me, metor, metor, meters. O, oh, again, the particle indicating what the verb will act on. Koshin, koshin is renewal, but in this case, it means to break a new record. So koshin, kiroku and koshin, when used together in a sentence, means to break the record. Literally meaning to break the record. Or koshin shimashita, or past tense. So broke the record. And again, we go back to the uh, word chosa chim, research team, wa, topic marker, and shinkai deep sea. Uh, de and at again, uh, no is apostrophe s. Chosa inquiry. Uh, wo indicates what the verb will act on. Suzuke, continuing. Sakana, fish. This time we use sakana. Nado, etc. This is a good word. You probably see somewhere, maybe if you're if you're taking the NL and and dash uh, the Nihon Japanese uh, language proficiency test. Sei Tai K ecosystem. Sei is actually life. Tai is um. What is Tai? I forgot. Uh, this is system K. I forgot what time it? Let's do. I I well. What, what do you know? I have forgotten what Tai means. So let's look it up. I want to say, what's well, Taido's attitude? Um, 
shape? What is it? Oh, attitude. I was right. Attitude. Okay, there we go. So say, well, in this case, it doesn't make sense. Condition. In this case, condition. Okay. So uh, living condition system, ecosystem. No apostrophe yes. Kaime breakthrough or clarification. Kaime suda. Well, while we're on uh, Tangorin, you can look it up there. Oh, they don't even. Oh, yes, they do. Here we go. Clarification, elucidation, explication. Hmm. Clarification. Well, again, the subject marker. Uh, susumetai to proceed to go forward. Uh, to it is uh, it is said or they do they are doing it. Sure. Let's go back. Let's go back to the actual uh, script that I typed out for you, and you can wa look along, wa um, listen along. I guess I listen along to where are we? This one, and I've got, uh, the link to this video is below. I'm not going to play the video for you. I'm just going to link it. I, I really encourage you to, to do it, but I will read it for you. Okay. Kuchira no eizo wa. So just to, just so you can understand what I'm reading here. Listen. Kuchira no eizo wa. See, kuchira no eizo wa. Kaiyo, kaiyo kenkyu, uh, kaihatsu kiko. That's the Japanese Marine Agency there. Nado, etc. And I guess maybe other people are involved. No apostrophe yes. Chosa chim, the research team. Ga, this is the subject marker. So this is all the subject. Gogatsuni in uh, May. Satsue shita, photographed. Taiyo. Taiheiyo, the Pacific, Mariana, Kaiko, um, oh, uh, in the, in, I'm sorry, photographed in the Pacific, Kaiko, uh, Mariana Kaiko, so the Mariana Trench, which is in the Pacific, no, apostrophe yes, uh, Suishin, at a depth, at a, at a, at a water depth of 8,000, 100, Nanaju, 78, one more time, 8,178 meters de uh, at that place and this is the this is the photo the photograph so the photograph rem remember no is apostrophe yes so depth photograph is all this it is so this is the picture of a photograph of the photographed um, at the Mariana depth in the Pacific, uh, at a at a depth of eight thousand one hundred and seventy eight meters in uh, May by the research team of, of the Japanese uh, Marine Society, and this is that this is that video. Utsuteru no wa, no wa. What you see here in front of you, utsuteru no wa is the deep sea fish Shinkaigyo Marian. Mariana Sneru Fish. They just translated the word into English, into Japanese katakana. To indicates what is we're speaking of. Mirare temas. So mirare temas. It is thought that this is the Mariana, the deep sea Mariana fish is on video. Okisa. The size is okisa wa jugo fifteen centi centimeters. About hodo. De at uh, Kiki device ni atsumata. Uh, so ni indicates a location or in or some de indicates a location too. So, in and around the device, ebi yo tabe, taberu sugata. Uh, the form of shrimp eating, eating shrimp. Mo also kakunin saremashita. It has been confirmed. Shinkai de. Uh, at uh, deep sea, D in the deep sea, satsui sareta, photographed fish or gyorui, apostrophe s. Yes. This is the deep sea fish photographed fishes. How do we do that in Japanese, in English? Um, the photo, the photograph of a deep sea fish is hmm, image, azo. Kind of redundant, isn't it? The photograph of the photographed, the, the, so I guess the, Video of the photographed or deep sea fish. Toshite mm. wa, right? Uh, and remember going back to toshite wa. Here we go. All right. 
So you can go back, you're going to have to do this, go back a little bit to, to check, right? Toast to what? As for. As for. As. Often toast to what is just as. Uh, as. Here we go back. Shinkai uh, de in the deep sea, satsui sareta photographed fish uh, video. Toast to what? As for. As for the video of the fish that was photographed in the deep sea, wa, that's a topic marker, sekai uh, de, in the world, motomo, the most, deep kiroku, record. So it's a new deep record. It's, a re it's the most deepest record. And what is that record? It is o, nijuroku meter o, nijuroku meter o koushin shimashita. Twenty, uh, 26 meters old shimashita. I guess they surpassed the previous record by 26 meters. That's what I'm understanding here. Chosachim, the research team, what subject marker? Shinkai de in the deepest sea. No, apostrophe s. Chosa o research. O uh, indicates what the what the verb will act on. Suzuke are continuing. So we're continuing the research in the deep sea. The research team is. Sakana mm. nado, fish, etc. No seitai ke ecosystem. No. Um, this is that word. What was this word? Uh, kaime. Oh, yeah. Elus elucidation or clarification. So we will continue to try to. I guess say seitai ke no kaime. Maybe try to learn more about this ecosystem. Clarify. Learn more about the ecosystem. Oh, susumetai. We hope to... Con Remember, adding tai to a verb me usually means con to want to or to intend to. Susumetai to shiteimasu. So we will continue the clarification of this ecosystem of fish and continue uh, the research uh, at, in the deep sea. The deep sea, the uh, research team will. Okay, that is a long one. That's the vocabulary for you. Listen to the video. Listen to the video many, many times. This is a tough one. I did it. It was tough for me, and I had Yukari uh, check it, and it was a little bit tough for her too because not not simply because it's um, Japanese, uh, but because it's new vocabulary. It's very specific vocabulary, but it's good to study things like this. We can learn words that, that actually will pop up uh, in other places like seitai ke which is ecosystem. Chosa, of course, you see quite a lot. Uh, Shinkai, I've never seen before, but it's easy to understand in context. Shin is often deep and Kai is uh, ocean. Umi is also ocean, but in this case, it's pronounced Kai. Uh, motomo, we say quite a bit. Anyway, it's a good lesson. It's useful. Study it, study it, study it. And thanks for watching. As always, please support me with comments uh, or ratings or other ways you can see in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.